Hello, God bless you guys. Um, two big things here. One is um, the message that Hope gave us gave us through the call of the bride.com, that word to Sue from God that was given November 18th. This is big, very exciting. Child, what you are about to face will take your breath away. You will thank me over and over for the detailed training I have given you. Life as you know it will drastically will change drastically. You have been designed and created for this purpose since the beginning of time. Your entire life has molded you into the vessel I have now completed. My sons and daughters will rise up in these last days with a force the world has never known. Nothing can compare to the power of my bride, and I, as we, unite as one. I have protected you, hidden you, and taught you. Now I will bring you forth, and Satan will not even know you, for you will take him by surprise and ambush him with all the forces of heaven at your disposal. You had to die as I did. You had to submit to the will of the Father as I did, and you will be resurrected as I am. This power from on high dwells within you now, but when I flipped the switch, and she saw a vision of a house that was... Um, it had circuits in the walls and that uh, everybody's got they're all we're all wired up and ready to go in the Holy Spirit and when God flips the switch we're all gonna turn on and be changed that was on Hope's website it's not on this message power will be released with such force upon you that uh, it will not be contained darkness will flee before you as when the day dawns Nothing will stop this mighty move, for I am about to break the neck of Satan by the very ones he has tried so hard to destroy. Rise up, my little ones, downtrodden ones, and forsaken ones, for the mantle of Moses, Samuel, Elijah, and David cannot compare with the power that will come upon and through my bride as we unite as one. Shalom. Once again, it says what you are about to face will take your breath away. Okay, it's really soon. Now, one on John Larry. This wasn't the recent one. This was the the message from November third. But these two are like the most important one. And Jesus is talking about how martial law is about to happen, and we're going to go to the refuges and stuff. But this is mentioning the two sons. So I'm just going to read it. On JohnLarry.com, my people, Jesus said. This vision of men conspiring in secret is how the one world people are planning the demise of America. Once they can bring down America, these evil ones want to combine America with Mexico and Canada to form the North American Union. I told you in previous messages that before America is taken over, the one world people will find a way to take down your electrical grid. Your banking, fuels, and food distribution are all dependent on electricity. Many people do not have stored food, and they would give in to taking chips in the body for their first survival. My faithful will be protected at my refuges, where you would not need refrigeration of your food. When you see mandatory chips in the body to buy food and make transactions, then you'll need to come to my refuges. This is when all of your preparations will be needed, and my angels will protect you. The end times are coming upon you, but trust in my help at my refuges during the tribulation. Jesus said, My people, this scene of two suns in the sky will frighten many people, and some could even die of fright. Soon after this sign, everyone all over the world will have their warning experience of seeing their whole life flash in front of them. You will all be taken out of your body and out of time as you come to my light through a tunnel. When you come in front of me, you will have a life review from your conception to the present. You will focus on your unforgiven sins, and then you will see your many judgment of where your sins are leading you. Some will experience hell or purgatory, and only a few will see heaven. You will be warned not to take a microchip in the body and come to my refuge when I will call you. You will be placed back into your body in time so you can improve your destination. You will have six weeks after the warning for people to repent and change their lives. This will be the best time to evangelize your family members so they can receive a cross on their foreheads. Only my faithful people will be allowed into my refuges with a cross on their foreheads. After the six weeks, remove all your TVs, computers, and cell phones so you do not look at or hear the Antichrist. 
then you will see a world famine, a division in my church, a martial law, and mandatory chips in the body. All the one world people's unions on each continent will be given over to the Antichrist. He will have a different name, and when he declares himself, this will start the tribulation. His time will be brief before I will bring my chastisement over the earth. I will separate the evil ones into hell, but I will bring my faithful down into my era of peace.